40 years ago this season, the VMI basketball program began one of the most storied runs in school athletic history with a magical two-year period that has been unmatched since. Guided by head coach Bill Blair and featuring players recruited primarily by assistant coach Charlie Schmaus, the 75-76 Keydets, a team picked sixth in the preseason poll, captured the Southern Conference Tournament title and then embarked on a shocking NCAA tournament string of upsets. They first defeated ninth-ranked Tennessee in the first round of the then 32-team NCAA tournament and followed that win with an overtime victory over number 17 DePaul in the Sweet 16. One game away from the Final Four, VMI fell to undefeated Rutgers in the East Regional Final in Greensboro, closing out the Cinderella season. But the Kedets had captured the hearts and minds of the college basketball world. VMI, along with Davidson, remain the only Southern Conference schools to advance into the Elite Eight. The epic journey continued the next season in 1976-77 under Schmaus, who was elevated to head coach. And VMI set a school record for wins going 26-4, repeating as Southern Conference champions, and after an opening NCAA tournament win over Duquesne, advanced to the East Regional along with basketball powers North Carolina, Notre Dame, and Kentucky. VMI's season concluded with a Sweet 16 loss to Kentucky in College Park, Maryland. But the Keydets ended the 76-77 campaign, ranked number 20 in the final AP poll, the program's first and only national ranking in basketball. The team also extended VMI's home court winning streak at the famed Pitt, now Cormac Hall, to what would become a 36-game home winning streak and the longest in the nation at that time. Some call it the golden age of VMI basketball. One player on the squad described it as when Jupiter aligned with Mars. Forty years later, the heroics of VMI's storied journey remain as vivid as ever 